Okay. So here we have um, both cylinders for the Elite Honda 50cc right here, 70cc right here. This is your Polini kit. If you can see that right there, it says Polini. This is your Polini cast iron cylinder, and this is your 70cc piston straight out the box. Now, what I'm really noticing is that what I believe they did was they took a stock 50 and they bored it completely out. If you hold both of these side by side, they are identical. I mean, everything that I can see on it is practically identical. Maybe they used the same style cast, but I don't know. I don't know if they just took an old one of these and made one of these. Who knows? But it looks bigger. You can definitely tell it's bigger. Let's see. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's bigger. And then we come over here to the pistons. <clears throat> Hold those side by side. You can really, really see the difference in size. If you were to sit here and hold this one over top of that one. See if I can get it. Maybe that could show you the difference right there. That's a big difference. Pretty neat though. I haven't really sat over here and gone over the parts and really looked at them yet. So I'm kind of looking at it all for, for the first time. Okay, so the new piston, just like the stock piston, it has the dowel pin right there. So this ring on the bottom can only stay in that area. And then over here on the top ring groove, that can only stay in that area. That's pretty neat. And then they give you a new roller bearing, which is nice. Because the crank is right here, so we get that, and this is your stock wrist pin. We'll slide that out. And that's your stock roller bearing right there on it. But if you look at this, it's not in bad shape. It's got a little bit of surface rust just from sitting in the garage for a few days. But um, I kept the, uh, the bearing down in here nice and lubricated, so it spins nice and free. And then these, I kept these lubricated. Now, it was hard to get this out of the case. I ended up having to take a blowtorch and heat the case up a little bit, just a regular little propane blowtorch, and then tap the end of this with a dead blow hammer, and it would finally slide apart. But before that, that case would not separate to save its life. But this is about it as far as the, uh, the kit is involved. Let's go ahead and move on to the carburetor. All right, so here we have the Polini carburetor with a very, very strong tag. All right, let's see if we can open this bad boy up. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> So it comes with, it looks like plugs to plug that if need be. I'm sure one of them is going to feed something and plug the other, who knows. But yeah, so we've got this right here as your intake. And this will go to, I believe, it's going to go to this. And that adapter will go here. Basically, this is going to go onto here, like that. This part is going to be mounted to that, like so. And then this side of the carburetor is going to go into here. More or less. So you'll have 
your intake with your stock reads. I'm running the stock reads because I ain't, you know, I'm not dumping thousands and thousands of dollars into this thing. I had $1,000. That was it. That would cover all my brakes, my tires, the tubes, the plastics, the engine, all that. So that's why I went ahead and covered the seat myself to try to save some money. Because I have about $700 wrapped up in all the parts. And then I had to buy $70 worth of tires and tubes and $20 worth of brake levers, stuff like that. So I'm not going to go over $1,000. Famous last words, right? But yeah so basically that's what that does it doesn't really i don't know if that really matches up now that i'm seeing this those two holes they don't line up so we're going to definitely have to figure something out there the adapter doesn't match this but i did notice that the adapter box itself had been opened so maybe someone else had that issue maybe they put different ones of these on there Maybe my adapter was actually meant for a different intake. So maybe I'll have to go online and order a different intake. This is actually a lot smaller now that I'm really looking at the diameter of this. Um, it's a lot smaller than even the intake of the carburetor. So this would technically be a, a, a large performance drop as far as trying to get the air into the engine. Now I don't know if I'll have to replace the reeds. The reeds themselves look pretty good. Um, but I'm not a two-stroke fanatic two-stroke expert so I don't know what is really good or not good I just know that they're clean so and here we have our Melosi clutch so don't know how spectacularly awesome this one is um, you know I don't even remember how much it costs probably in the 60 to 70 dollar range who knows but I noticed like when I was looking at a few online, they would have different holes and the holes were like different lengths away here and then closer here. And you could manipulate how much tension you, you already had on the spring by moving it to the different holes on the clutch to where, you know, say if the distance of the spring right now had five pounds to pull it apart and you moved it over here to this one and this one and it made it five and a half pounds then it would multiply that by three and then it would be another pound and a half of outward force in order to get it now granted my five pounds might be 50 pounds correctly but <clears throat> you get the idea my uni air filter awesome sauce now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually see if they got this one right too i'm gonna see if this fits the carburetor. Probably should be opening it up, but who cares? We're going to unbox this for everybody. It's like Christmas for everybody when you watch YouTube and everybody's opening stuff up. Oh, look at that. They got that dead right on the money. I'm going to say we need to loosen that clamp up a wee bit there Charles just take it off ha oh, ha yeah as the tool man would say ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha so that looks pretty sweet that right there you can see that it's going to be on the bike in a few weeks you going to be ripping and running up and down the street cool alright well that about wraps up everything that I got except the variator and there's not really much going on here so we've got you know the weights as I showed you before in the other video and we've got these weights they're just different sizes um, that is really really pretty I mean they did a good job granted there's some you know water spots on it and stuff but the attention to how beautiful that is I love it how the inside of that it's machined very well there's no like you know cheap stuff when you see when uh, cheap items are machined they'll leave the the tags and metal and stuff like that I've, I've had products like that in the past uh, working on my car some companies pay the attention to detail and some just don't luckily uh, Polini is a seems to be a very good company there's the pin that this slides on so that's your dowel pin I believe you would call it so that's going to go in there and that's going to travel it's going to travel with it like so 
All right, guys. Well, that's about it for this video. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you like the parts that I chose to uh, build my scooter with. And uh, please stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the build. Thanks for watching.